Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can set up and configure Selenium 4 in Eclipse. So let's begin. So in order to set up uh, and configure Selenium 4 in Eclipse, we need Java. We also need Eclipse for development purposes. So we need both these things before we can actually start setting up the Selenium 4. So you need to ensure that you should have Java on your operating system and you should have Eclipse. So Java is already installed on my system and let me go to my terminal here and let me show it to you and let me guide you a bit on how you can set up a Java on your machine. So before that just go to your terminal and go and type Java dash version here and if you see the version here this means that Java is installed and configured properly on your Windows machine. Now how you can uh, download the Java and install that? There are very simple steps here and uh, what you need to do is that you need to uh, open the browser and in that browser you need to type download JDK and press enter go to the first URL and from here I would recommend that you should go with Java 17 here and download the package according to your operating system and once you will download that run that installer and it will install Java on your Windows machine so once it will get done then uh, what you need to do is that you need to go to the environment variables and and here in the system variables under the system variables you need to do java underscore home and you need to provide the path of your JDK this is a one step and the second step is that you need to go to the path here and click on add it and you need to provide the path of your JDK till bin and once you will do that Java will be installed uh, so if you want to see um, the step-by-step -step guidance so you can refer to my Java installation session uh, but as of now we will be focusing on how to set up, set up and configure Selenium in Eclipse second thing uh, we need is uh, Eclipse here so you need to type download so I would recommend that you should go with the portable version of Eclipse uh, it's, it's a bit of lightweight and you will love that one as well so you need um, to open this URL packages download slash packages and you need to click on this one and it will open the Eclipse site and you, you can download uh, any of these but the lighter version if you see that this is the enterprise version and the size of this is 514 MB and here is 308 MB so as a being an automation engineer we might not need all of the things uh, as just like a developer but we just need a simple ID through which we can automate so you can go here and you can download the portable version from here so once you will download this one uh, you will get a file let me go to my software folder and you will see that you will get something like this and you need to unzip this one and from here you need to go and you just need to run this one you don't need to uh, install Eclipse on your machine the interface you're looking at right now is a bit different because I have uh, implemented or selected a dark theme here that's why you might be seeing some different interface here and let me open my Eclipse here and I'm using a darker version of a different theme it's a dev style theme so this is how the Eclipse look like and we would be using this one to set up a Selenium project now uh, what you need to do is that you need to go here into file and you need to click on the new Java project and we would be naming this project as Selenium for setup and uh, rest of the options you should go with as it is this is uh, your default location 
and there are some GRE options then project layout we don't need to change anything as of now and you need to uncheck this one because we don't need to create a module right now so uh, click on next and then we need to click finish here and then our project will be set up here so now uh, what we need to do is that under this project let me close my previous uh, different java sessions let me close these files so let me close it we'll start from the scratch now uh, under this project what we need to do is that we need to go to the source uh, section here and under the source section we need to create a package so package is, is a broader term where you can have a uh, interrelated classes for example tomorrow uh, as automation engineer you can create a package for maybe a smoke test for the regression test it can vary and it can be uh, you know up to you how you can create the packages it, it may be a functionality based so it's, it's totally up to you so you can give any name to any package according to your requirement and let me click on finish this one so the package is there and under this package we need to create a class so go to the new do go to the class here and I'm giving this as selenium 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 demo selenium demo and I will click on this static method and finish so we have created a project we have created a package under this project we have initiated our first class here however the problem is that if i start writing a selenium code here our code will not work the reason is that we haven't configured or set up selenium 4 here in this project so we need to set up selenium under this project for that what we need to do is that we need to go back to the browser we need to go to the selenium um, selenium website selenium dot dev and under this website we need to go to the download section here and you need to scroll bit here and here you can see that we have a different client libraries uh, based on the different language bindings so if you are working on c sharp ruby python javascript so you can download the respective api for that one so as we are using the java right now so what i need to do is that i need to download this one so this is a stable version 4.14 and let me click on this one so it will download the latest file so 4.1.4 and we need to incorporate these selenium files into our java project so let me go here and let me cut this from here and let me go to the my software here and let me paste this file here and uh, let me extract this file to show you what exactly we have so I will say yes to all here and under this we will get this folder and you can see that we have a lot of files here which are jar files and again we have a lot of files here in terms of libraries so now what we can do is that we need to go to this Eclipse here and we need to right click on the project here and we need to go to the build path here and against that build path we need to click configure build path here and we need to go to the class path here and click on add external jar files here and we need to traverse to our downloaded selenium files uh, i will be going to here here and you can see that there are a lot of files here and I will select all those files here and click open and then again 
uh, we have to add the remaining files here so again go to add external charts and go to the libraries and we have all the services control a and open these files so if i see here on the left side this is a basically a package explorer or the project explorer here you will see that we don't have any kind of uh, reference files so i will click on apply and then apply and close and here you will see that now we have a reference libraries so under these reference libraries you will see that all libraries from the selenium 4 has been added to my project so now whenever i start working on this one i will get all the methods all the things all the libraries in order to automate the web application thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial